A new type and new location of sampling equipment in Hanford's BC area should help CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company's Soil and Groundwater Remediation Project learn more about groundwater contamination in the area and its potential impact on the Columbia River. In October, crews in boats installed 18 monitoring devices called Hyporheic Sampling Points, or HSPs, offshore. The HSPs will track how much of the contaminant hexavalent chromium there is in the hyporheic zone, that's where groundwater mixes with river water, and it's where sensitive aquatic life might be, like clams, worms, and salmon eggs. Hexavalent chromium was used to treat process water used in the reactors during years of plutonium production on the Hanford site. These new style aquifer tubes will allow monitoring of contamination in the hyporheic zone during low and high water levels. These new HSPs are stainless steel about 18 inches long and are driven about a foot and a half into the silt, rock, and sand several yards out into the Columbia River. Other older monitoring devices were installed closer to shore and are 15 to 30 feet deep. Buoys on the river surface indicate where the HSPs are located. Flexible tubing also attached to the buoys allows scientists to pump sample water from the HSPs for testing. We have only very limited information about what the levels of chromium are in the river. So this is really kind of the first ongoing monitoring program that will be actually monitoring the hyperreic zone. Installation of the HSPs is a milestone in the Tri-Party Agreement. That's the agreement between the State of Washington, the Department of Energy, and the Environmental Protection Agency that governs cleanup of the site. Today, CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company and the Department of Energy are removing record amounts of contaminants and shrinking the area of groundwater that is contaminated, restoring groundwater to a level that protects the public health and the environment. We'd like to know how much risk is there really to the aquatic life. Are, are we exceeding that water quality standard just once in a while or is it pretty much year round? So once we have that data from a couple of years, we should be able to make a more informed decision about groundwater remediation. Sampling from these new HSPs began in November and will continue for two years.